Hello, in this Blastem emulator video, which is the Sega Genesis emulator, also known as a Sega Mega Drive outside of America, I'm going to show you how to, in this video, how to connect up your PS4 controller, works fine with PS5 controllers as well, the same process, to your Windows machine so you can use it on the Blastem emulator. To do it's really simple, to be fair. So you can either go down the wide route, so you work in a micro USB cable here, or the end into your computer if you're going the PS4 controller route and that's the old one and the newer one which has the LED in the touch bar as well or if you have a PS5 controller if you want to go down the wired route USB-C cable into your controller or the end into your computer okay so now that we've got that out of the way for wireless it's just a connectivity you know step and that means you need Bluetooth regular Bluetooth no proprietary dongle or anything you'd like that is required but you know you do need Bluetooth so open up your Bluetooth settings and in here go to add Bluetooth or other device and before we select Bluetooth just press the option the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time by doing that the lights will start flashing about five seconds should be enough there we go it is now flashing go to Bluetooth select wireless controller this will go solid once it's connected as an extra step I always like to search for game and go to set up USB game controllers and go to the wireless controller probably only have the one click properties if moving the analog sticks and pressing buttons works that's great fantastic your controller is actually working if that doesn't work it's not gonna work if it doesn't just remove it and just try again okay and also another thing that I find sometimes helps is removing your Bluetooth dongle and replugging it back in. If it's built in, you can't do that, that's fine. But what you can see is if you flip the controller around on the right hand side, so behind the left side of the front controller, there's a little hole next to the screw. And if you just get, you can get a pin. I always get a SIM card, a SIM card ejector tool. It's not, you know, sharp and it's the right side. Put that in for the button in there, press it. For a few seconds it'll reset the controller if you have problems this should help now once you've got that you literally just open up blastem and go to settings controllers select ps4 controller and here we go so if you want to map remap the controls you just press let's say if i want to map r3 to something press that and then you select what button you want to map it to say if i want to map it to pad c for example there you go, it's pad C. Obviously pad really should be, you know, uh, I mean, you could have it wherever you want. It's totally up to you. And that's really it, click back. And you know, you want, yeah, it's asking how you want to set as a normal PS4, use for identity controller, or use for first controller, use as default. I would just like to click use as default and that's it. So like let's click back. Let me load up a ROM now so we can actually get it working. Uh, that was a zip file. Here we go. Might turn the volume down in a second if it's too loud. waiting for the game to load up okay let's turn the volume down and you press up and down to go up and down we'll press start to go head to head i don't want to put my initials in that's don't need that press start Really, that's it. I mean, like I say, you can remap the controls. It does a good job mapping them automatically anyway, because it's got the SDL for the controller, you know, connection, and, and we can move around. Ooh, I'm doing terrible. But yeah, I'll pause it, and that's it. I'll quit out of the game as well. 
So that is how you use your PS4 controller. It works the same with PS5 as well on your Blaster emulator on your Windows machine. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. There's a link in the Discord group. You can join that and the emulator channels there. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I've got videos for Xbox controller for this and how to set up the emulator in general. Check those out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.